This is the, um, how we do acoustic measurement of the loudspeaker, both on axis, on off axis, vertical and horizontal dispersion patterns. This is our microphone system suspended on suspension wires to make sure that it's mechanically isolated from the fall so we don't get any uh, noise interference on the loudspeaker measurement. Like if a speaker's producing a lot of bass, it doesn't resonate uh, like a microphone stand that may affect the measurement of the speaker. We put the speaker on a, uh, uh, this, this is a worm drive to raise and lower the, the height of the speaker. And this is a turntable, 360 degree stepper motor turntable. So we can rotate this turntable and look at angular points of the loudspeaker to look at how the response is measured on axis, on off axis to the speaker. And we can flip the speaker 90 degrees and then do a, a vertical dispersion, dispersion pattern analysis of a loudspeaker and we measure at one meter we drive with one watt 2.83 volt into 8 ohms and uh, because of the extreme noise floor, low noise floor and no reflection from the wall we get a true measurement of the loudspeaker. We can also rotate the speaker around the other way and do the measurement of the vent to make sure that the vent is behaving exactly as we want it to be without any coloration. Over here we have a, a a head torso which does the analysis of, of headphones. So when we measure headphones, we actually do them on, uh, on this device here. It's a head and torso simulator type 4128C from Bruel and Kea, and it's a uh, reference standard uh, component for doing headphone measurement. So that's what we use for doing our headphones. I've got to be very careful walking because it's like a trampoline. So if I walk, the, the camera's going to be bouncing up and down. This is a, a standard, we call an IEC baffle. And this is what we do loudspeaker drive unit analysis on, on the... So this is like the loudspeaker out of an enclosure and how it behaves. So we want to see how the speaker is working without the um, effect of the enclosure it's in. The enclosure will affect the loudspeaker radiation pattern because of its geometry and its size. So this is uh, done with, a, with a, a close mic again about one meter and we can also do on-off axis measurement with this as well and uh, this is just basically uh, how we hold the speaker in. There's like a various amount of different baffles we can put in here with quick clamps and then we can hold the magnet like this and hold it in place. So this is how we, we do a drive unit analysis uh, on, in the uh, frequency domain mode. Uh, that's the door, well, one of the doors. There you go. I think somebody drunk and went to that wedge, busted that wedge, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need to change that wedge, yeah. There's a faulty wedge here, the bad QC on this one. Yeah. Look at that door, look how solid this door is, so I see on the hinges on. That's what you call solid, yeah? In here.